Are you someone who likes to have background noise while you sew? I am. I will waste a ton of time looking for something to put on in the background instead of actually sewing. In order to concentrate, I feel like I always have to have a podcast, audiobook, or TV show on. As I began to work on Butterick 6378, I didn't really have anything to put on. I finished my latest audiobook, I wasn't in the middle of any TV shows, and wasn't really that interested in any of the podcasts on my lists. So on that day, for some reason, I decided to just start sewing. Now for me, sewing is not really an activity I do for my mental health. It doesn't calm me, it isn't meditative, and I generally don't use it as an escape. As I was sewing with nothing to distract my mind, a mindfulness technique popped into my head. As an anxious person, it's something I've been encouraged to do in the past, using my senses to bring my awareness to the present moment. By intentionally bringing your attention to the present, you can begin to quiet the mind, bringing calm and peace. I wondered if I could use this technique to sew more mindfully. Maybe it would even help me sew better and spark some creativity. So I decided to give it a try. I began to try and really focus on the present. So in order to do this, I asked myself, what could I hear? What could I feel? What could I see? And when my mind began to wander, I would bring it back to these questions. I can feel the prick of a pin on my finger as I pinned the facing to the bodice. I can feel the slightly crinkled texture of the rayon fabric under my fingers. I can feel the machine pulling the fabric from my hands. I can hear my sewing machine. I can hear the fabric being cut by scissors. I can hear the sound of the steam in my iron and feel the heat as I press my seams. I can smell the burnt starch in the muslin of my ironing board. That reminds me of sewing school. I can see the colors of the fabric. I can see the fabric dust on my machine. I can see the reflections in the shiny parts of the machine and off the metal pins in the fabric. I can feel the warmth of the pedal under my foot as I press down on it. You can also focus on your body. What is your breath like right now? How does your body feel? What's your posture like? Are you slouching? You can focus on the feeling of your fingers as they work. And of course my mind wandered off the whole time as it does. I had to stop and read the directions of the pattern. I had to focus on some more of the difficult techniques. I went and ate dinner. I googled some things. But in between all that, I always tried to bring my attention back to these questions. And you know, I actually felt really calm and peaceful as I was sewing. I didn't really feel like I needed to be distracted by media. I felt very methodical and strangely confident in my sewing ability at that moment. Am I always going to sew this way? Uh, no. I mean, the next time that I sat down at my sewing machine, I blasted through half a season of Mad Men and totally loved it. But you know, stopping to be mindful every once in a while is a really good exercise for your mind. Just like physical exercise, it's good to strengthen that muscle every once in a while. So I encourage you to try it out next time you're at your sewing machine and make sure to let me know how it goes.